Let's continue. So, like, something tells me, like, that, that's not the only place that would have changed, right? I mean, I'm sure every, every place else wouldn't change that much, but I'm sure there's some, like, tore down the old palace in Karnaka and built himself a new one. Some stuff. A monument to his ego. Whether he knows it's coming or not, I'm here to make him pay for everything he's done. I'm going to show him what happens to those who turn traitor to the Empire. After tonight, the Duke will either be dead or deposed, depending on how this plays out. Whatever happens to Sir Konos in the aftermath is his fault, not mine. I've yep. got to get inside, take care of the Duke, and find a way to steal Delilah's soul. I have to steal Delilah's soul. Holy shit, what a heist. What a heist. Let's do it. Let's get off this boat. I'm... I don't have sea legs. Is that mom? You can't. I need you. I stay too long. Find a last spirit. Trap her with this cage of dead flesh. Set me free. I don't <coughs> understand. Excuse me. You will very soon. Oh, is that her soul? That's Mama's soul. Mama's soul is with us. Here you note. There's a message for you on the table. A contract from Batista. Dropped it off. Thinking I might know you. Thinking I might know you. Oh, okay. Batista dropped it off thinking that... Uh, let's write in our travel log a little bit here. Alright, let's write it out. We got a grand palace coming up here. Delilah's secret. The day I saw the effects of the void leaking into Aramis Stilton's house through his cracks in reality, I was able to see past, see the past and the present simultaneously. I learned a great deal looking into the night of the Duke's gathering three years in the past. I watched a seance that brought Delilah's spirits from the void where she was trapped and into this world. I saw that spirit preserved in an effigy made of bone by the witch Brianna Ashworth. Okay. Um, where's this message from the guy? Is this it? My Emily, your courier is only giving me a scant minutes to write back before he leaves for your secret location. I'm in tears that he won't give me the location or take me along, but I trust you. I don't know if it's fair to be this angry with you or if I should instead cry tears of joy knowing you're still alive. Uh, why man? We, we men? Why men? Women? Women? <laughs> um, it's, it seems that Morley is on the verge of going to war against Gristol, and the rumors of Dunwall are grim and strange. We've heard about soldiers made of metal, women commanding the trees, and whales gathering in the harbor, singing their songs in reverse. I hate the whole world for being between you and me, while we should be holding hands. Please be safe. Is that is that my fiance? Why man? Um, goodbye, Karnaka. A musical is not what I want to listen to. Um Alright, do we have anything? No. Do we have this uh stupid place is open. Uh the storage. This is the storage room, right? Private. Um, I can't believe it's taken this long for someone to go after the Duke. Oh, hey, this I is open. Aristocratic boss living in a palace and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. Yes, I regret my affiliation with the young Duke, but his father and I were close. It was my hope that Luca would eventually grow up and learn that his actions as ruler of Sarkonos have very real consequences. He could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sir Konos. Fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. Once the Duke falls, it's my hope that we can build something better here. Something more representative and inclusive. Okay.
We don't got nothing. Really? Empress Jessamine herself once offered me a suite at Dunwall Tower, complete with a laboratory, the finest apparatus in the Isle. I declined, of course. I'm not some conjurer from. All right, shut up. Um, so let's take a look at this thing back here. We got this map going on. So this is who we're after today. Um, and we've already taken out uh, this uh, this guy, Jindosh. Uh, this boy who's there. Um, the killer. I remember the killer. Uh, that was a lady that we thought was going crazy in that thing. The Rosenberg Collect. This is uh, Brianna Ashworth. Uh, we already killed her. Um, and we just took care of Aramis Stilton. He's I still alive. What Aramis Stilton can accomplish now that things are different. Um, Paolo is dead. Uh, Vice Overseer Burn. I hope the Vice Overseer will bring order to Karnaka. Um, Duca Bell uh, uses a body double. Okay. Wow. Look for the palace vault. Duca Bell spared no expense on his new palace. It's tacky if you ask me. Duca Bell, that's this man. All right, we're going after him. That's a nice uh, picture of me. Um, and now let's uh, let's go up and say hello yeah. to the old folks. Hey, what up? Hey, wait, who's this? Aramis Stilton. <gasps> Whoa! He's on our side? He's... Hello? Are you ready for this? I've been inside a dozen castles and a hundred mansions, and they're the same everywhere. The Duke's palace can't be anything worse than Lady Brisby's social afternoons. Getting inside might not be the hard part. The Duke doesn't exactly run a tight ship. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever the it is fuck? he's keeping why are his hands Delilah? so big? You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better yes, with they're not that big, mystery. Actually. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I've got a map of the Grand Palace for you, and I know something that no, they're may be big. useful. <laughs> There's a hidden lever in the pantry that opens a passage to the Duke's vault. If he's <laughs> keeping anything precious hands. for Delilah, I suspect that's where it'll be. Beyond that, good hunting. The Duke has pissed away any respect I might have had for his position. He's going to pay for his part in Delilah's coup. Those, okay. I, those hands are huge. Come on. Like, that hand does not look that big. Like, I looked at this. I looked at this. So, like, if I hold my hand up to my head, like, sure. My hand is almost as big as my head. But, like, that's, like, my whole hand with the fingers and all. Like, this, this guy's, like... Fucking his palm, like from here to here, is like, look at that. That's what the hell? What the fuck? Look at his hand. It's so big. Damn. That's not right. That's not right. Um. Is there anything? For me to be doing. No. Eh. Probably not. I could I should probably just get a move on. Alright, let's go. Let's get out there. Ready to visit the Duke. Yes. Let's get underway. One mission complete. One mission to go. Actually, we probably have two missions to go, at least. Because we got the Duke, and then we got a t probably a twist mission in the middle there. And then uh, we got to kill Delilah. Maybe the twist mission is at the end. I don't know, but there's got to be something. Something going on. At the palace, the Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. 
It's remarkable that people tolerate the Duke. He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall, full of toadies sucking up to me, stabbing each other in the back. Poor Empress. Toadies. I could see those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you grew up hard, Megan. I used to wander Dunwall with my face hidden. But when I got tired of it, I could always go back to the tower. Karnaka's given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Gotcha. So we gotta find Delilah's soul and uh, take out the Duke as well. Um... Run away, little mousies. How, what do we got going on? We got a lot. We got some bone charms. We got runes. Oh, okay. I thought that was a thing. A symbol. I was like, that's a new symbol. I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anything in here going on? We got some, some stuff we can sell. Looking rats. Uh, raw whalebone. Why not? Uh, all right. Excuse me. We can use magic again, guys. Like, wow. Like, three hours of not being... Well, not three hours, I guess. Only that, like, that last mansion. Which was actually still pretty considerably a lot of it. Stuff comes in. It's got to get where it's going. That's why they call it the black market. Can't just sit here. Too much chance a grand guard catches on to us, or maybe rightful owners coming to pick it up. What's the delay getting it to the shop? Betty afraid we'll get caught. The guy that runs the shop is nervous, but I think Jessel is moving straight off the boat. Yeah, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over at Color. So there's basically no risk. Hey. What's your friend's name? Uh uh. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. Hey, boys. You up for a beer later? Nah, not this time. No beer? What you got in the crate? Uh, goods I see goods goods. Can I shop at your black market bruh? Can I? Is he yelling at me? I'm sorry, I just like boats Hello. Hello Goodbye. All right. Um, this is a butcher. What's up, butcher? Goodbye, butcher. What do we got here? What do we got here? Door is blocked. Knock, knock. The door is blocked. But I know the way in. Um, what did that accomplish? Oh. Okay. Uh, just some bird feathers and some coins in there. All right. Uh, here we go. We got our, ourselves the maps. All right, we're coming up here. Look at this. We got this place to explore before going on here. So we were at Callus Cove is where we landed. There's the uh, the armpit plaza um, over there. We got carriage stop, which is where we're going to start actually going in to do the mission. Um, the Grand Palace is up here, and Ravina Boulevard is like the main square, it looks like. Oh, there we go, Ravina Boulevard. How about it? Uh, you're dead. Come on, can, can we, like, just not have dead bodies in the middle of the... 
Oh god. Stop it. Where are you at? Get out of here. Like, this is the town, guys. Like, please, can we just, like, clean it up a bit? Like, not leave dead bodies? Can we pay somebody to do that? I'm, sh I'm sure we could find somebody to pay to do that. Uh, I guess I'll just stick to the right in the meantime. I mean, why not? Right? Winslow. Isn't that the, um, the, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the safe building. Oh, that's a bad boy. That's two bad boys. Look at them bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. Yes? yes? Let's walk the other way. Um... Anything in the dumpster? Ooh, we got somebody throwing away copper. That's no good. Oh, hey, these guys are gambling. 